up, SMT Nation? You see what's behind me? It's an airport. This test C band, AT&T 5G Plus. Let's go. All right, guys and gals, we're here at the Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. I'm right here parked at the cell phone lot. Uh, we have the connecting freeway just over here a little bit. Uh, I don't know what would that be. Slightly south and east here. And um, we're going to test some C-band. You guys will see the... This is, I think this is where most of the cargo comes in. All right. The actual, like... Um, Terminals are over there, back there behind the, hope you guys can see this tower over here. Above on that rooftop, there's some antennas up there. That's not what we're connecting to actually. We're connecting to a site that's almost two miles that way. Probably like 1.8, 1.9 miles. There's a T-Mobile and DISH site for you guys. I don't know if you guys want to see that. DISH right there. And then there's T-Mobile up there. I think that might be Maybe some old spring here at the top, possibly it's still in commission. I don't know. Who cares? You know what we're here to do. We're gonna test C-band, AT&T 5G Plus, finding its way over here. All right, now, I was just connected to it. It looks like it just disconnected. So we'll go ahead and test the 5GE and see how that's performing. I'll see if I can get the 5G Plus back on. It might be 5G Plus, actually. I think it's just picking it up wrong weird it says 5g but i don't think so i think it's 5g plus i was just picking it up i'll reset the connection uh, but anyways here's a 5g e test for you guys 39 ping 22 jitter 221 down 29.6 up oh there it is 5g plus okay <laughs> for whatever reason it didn't pick it up at first now it is we'll see how this uh how this performs on this test 5G plus. Try to get rid of this glare for you guys. Weird, it's jumping to 5GE. Huh. You guys ever seen this before? First time I've seen it losing that connection. Hmm. It's really good 5GE if it really is 5GE. 22 down, 19 up, 39 ping, 9 millisecond jitter. All right, let me go ahead and restart the phone. And see, look, 5G plus. It's weird. Maybe the signal dropped, so maybe it is now picking it up. Let's see if it stays connected. Doesn't. Huh. All right, let me reset this thing. All right, so we're fresh on a restart. It is in 5GE. I think it's picking up that gear that's up there on that Marriott Hotel, uh, but it's not wanting to pick up the 5G Plus. I think because this signal is better and the speeds are better, it knows to give you the better connection by default. Here, it's picking up 5G Plus, but that signal looks pretty good. It should go. All right, so the ping did drop there at 27. It's barely picking it up here. It looks like we're on edge cell. All right, but we are definitely at the airport. Screw the FAA, losers. Level of incompetence by that department is ridiculous. These people should be ashamed of themselves. It's like we have an FCC for nothing. It's unbelievable. All right, we got 45 down. We got 27 up, 27 ping, five millisecond jitter. Looks like we're on edge cell. It might be a little bit too far for it to perform well here. But I am glad to see that it is picking it up. Run one more test here. Then I'll run a fast.com. 15 ping, 6 millisecond jitter. We'll do the fast.com and the nperf next. And since you guys got to see the 5GE speeds and they were really good, that tells you that the LTE over here for AT&T is excellent. We're pretty close to that site there. 15 ping, 6 jitter, 45 down, 28 up. All right, fair enough. Let's get to the fast.com. We're on the uh, 
Lowest Mobile Blue Death Star here, Business Elite. The elitist. Fast.com is tripping. Looking for that 5G Plus whenever you connect to C-Band on AT&T on 77. 40 megahertz channel, a bunch of LTE with that too. Fast.com's not working. Let's try on Perf. Oh, we went over to 5GE. Yeah, we're on edge. 5G is a better connection. Look, popping in and out of 5G Plus and 5GE. Either way, TNT is holding up pretty good here, even on the LTE side. Now it's doing all the browsing. We're back on 5G Plus. I think this is probably the maximum range. AT&T is going to get the N77, about two miles. All right, here's the browsing test. Now it's going to do the video test, get you a streaming quality performance rating. It'll do it in 360p, 720p, and 1080p. I wouldn't be surprised if the LT actually performs better on n for this instance, just because that signal is weak. Sorry for the wind noise. It's a windy day here in the CLE. It's going to start grading a little bit later. So we're going to get this test on the way out. Alright, I'll generate your endpoints. Alright, we got a max download of 77, average of 50. Max upload of 21 and a half, average of 20 and a half, average latency 68, best latency 54, browsing at 78%, streaming at 88%. Alright, there you guys have it, a mix of 5G Plus and 5GE on Edge Cell here at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Alright, tell me what you guys think of the performance. Alright, uh, comment down below, you all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on that bell notifications icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Patreon page, my Twitter handle, and all this inquiries can go to the Gmail address in the description box as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, y'all. See you on the next one.